All right, guys, with me here is the Canon EOS R5. Now, before we do this unboxing, I do want to disclose some information. First of all, this video is not sponsored by Canon. I am not getting paid by Canon. I am not a Canon ambassador. Uh, secondly, they did provide this camera for me to unbox and show you guys. This is a production unit. So when you buy your EOS R5, this is exactly what you're gonna get. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get to keep this camera. I have to send it back to them. However, I did pre-order mine and I'm gonna get it at at the same time that you will. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this unboxing. Pretty excited, see what's inside the box. So right off the bat, one thing I do notice is this looks very similar to the EOS R and it should because this is part of the EOS R family. Let's go ahead and look inside to see what you get. So typical information with like the warranty card, a book, which I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible because you know, we all wanna get to the meat and potatoes. You get one battery, this is their newer battery. Uh, you do get a charger, which is nice because I know a lot of newer cameras sometimes omit this. Actually, I'm gonna take everything out first to get rid of this box so that way you guys can go ahead and have a better view. All right, so now that we got those boxes out of the way, let's take a look at the brand new battery. What I like about this is that they kept the same design. So meaning, you know, this is the nice thing about these Canon cameras is that you can use this on a 5D Mark II, you can use this on the EOS R 5D Mark IV. It's really cool. Now I have the original battery, the older school battery. And again, you can see the dimensions are pretty much the same. However, this will last a bit longer. And I believe it's because it's larger in capacity. So this one here, this is the older one. It's 1865 milliamps. Now let's go ahead and see what the EOS R5 one is. Uh, I was right, 2130 milliamps. So there is a difference in milliamps and that's where you're gonna get the extra power. So this is the battery. Let's go ahead and take a look at the charger, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very much the same thing as the other ones. Uh, yep, it's the LCE6, nothing different. It's one of those that you just plug into the wall and that's great. I'm glad that they do include the charger. Uh, next thing you, do, you get is the strap, pretty nice. I mean, this is typical of most cameras. You get the uh, strap, so we'll just kind of set this one aside. And then in here, we have a USB Type-C cable, whoops. We have a USB Type-C cable, and then we also have this little connector, which basically goes on the side of the camera to make sure that you don't snag any of the uh, HDMI or USB-C cable out. So that's kind of nice. I really like that when they include the little knickknacks like that. But now, the main event, guys, this is it. This is the EOS R5. Let's go ahead and just move this out of the way. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at that beauty. Oh yeah, I will tell you right now, we are filming this with the top cam with the EOS R, but I love the grip. So that's one of the things I, I love about the EOS R is the grip in comparison to other mirrorless cameras. And the grip here is a little chunkier, which I actually like, but yeah, this is really, really nice. Okay, okay, very cool. So, bigger display, I noticed this. I can tell this right off the bat, the, uh, whoa. Okay, this might seem minor, but a lot of cameras that have flip out displays, a uh, gripe of mine is that they feel like they're gonna break. And this definitely has this ruggedness that I really like. One thing I did notice right off the bat, and I like this, is they switched the microphone and the headphone uh, placement. So for example, the microphone is above. And this is actually really good because if you do decide to vlog, normally the microphone placement would be a little bit lower. So you can see right here, if you were to vlog, the microphone cable would get in the way. Now, because it's a little bit higher, it's gonna sit right above right here, it should not be in the way. So that is a welcome upgrade. Now on the other side, we have the card slot. This is a dual card slot, unlike the EOS R, which you can only have uh, one SD card. This has an SD card and a CF Express card. And the reason why they're using CF Express is because you are able to record an 8K at a really high megabit. Now, because we are using the Canon C500 uh, Mark II, this is great because we can use those exact same CF Express cards that we are using with this camera in conjunction with this. So this is gonna be great for our workflow. So on the top side here, I do notice there's something very minor, but I do like it. On the on and off switch, there's this little nub that just makes it very easy to turn on and off. And then on this other side, there's really not a lot of changes that I can tell. Everything seems very similar 
to the EOS R. Now the backside is something that I think a lot of people are going to like because this is actually something new or newer with this camera line of cameras on the R is no longer do we have the touchpad. We now have the joystick, which I think a lot of people are going to like that. I personally like that and appreciate it. Something else that's different is you no longer have the little D-pad. Personally, I kind of like the D-pad. If they would have done a mixture of both, that would have been kind of cool. But uh, now it's just something that you just kind of turn and I mean, it works. I do like it. I do like this change. I will say that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look now uh, towards the bottom. So if we open up the battery compartment, there is one small difference that you'll notice. If you use a battery grip, you're gonna really like this. So the communicator is actually inside the battery compartment as opposed to like, for example, on the R, it would be located somewhere around here and it was covered with this little rubber grommet. The problem is that that could easily be lost. This is actually nice because now it's kind of hidden. It's all in one area, it's concise. You close it and now you can add the battery grip if you wish, you don't have to worry about that piece ever getting lost. Now on the front side, this is actually something new. This was not on the EOS R. This is the remote control terminal. And then over here on this side, we have the depth of field preview button. And of course, the granddaddy, the 8K sensor that is hiding behind that curtain. Now guys, we are going to be publishing a lot of videos in the next couple of days, the next couple of weeks. So I want you guys to tell me what you guys wanna see first. Leave a comment down below. My name is Armando, thanks again for watching and you guys will catch me in the next one. Adios.